So I'm sitting here and I, there's a part of me that's embarrassed because I suspected it, but I didn't have the guts to go there. I knew this thing at Mizzou was a hoax. I knew the whole thing had to begin with a hoax, and we know that it did. There were, there were two hoaxes that got this whole thing started. There was never a swastika of poop. It was totally made up. And the real thing that got this, this butler kid, this guy that, 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 that the hunger strike, he comes from a wealthy family in Nebraska. His father is a railroad executive, but he lost his health care uh, in his undergraduate, something to do with his health care because of Obamacare. And it, those two things are what triggered this. And everything else that happened after that was a result of the kind of, of anti-white privilege, which is a meme, by the way. I want to make a prediction. In future Republican debates, at some point, that term white privilege is going to be brought up. And, and these guys are going to have to be ready because the question, would you define the white privilege that's governed your life? It's going to be something like that. That's one of the things that's governed this. We have been, we've, we've... The signs were there, should have picked up on it. All these college kids stories we've had the last couple of years, white kids running around professing their guilt at their white privilege, we should have known, just should have known, should have been able to put two and two together. Anyway, details on all this coming up as the program unfolds before your very eyes. Rush Limbaugh behind the golden EIB microphone. The telephone number is 800-282-2882. And the, uh, the email address, lrushbow at eibnet.com. It was just uh, last couple of days, another MU student claimed that the KKK was on campus. And it turns out he totally made it up. The whole thing was practically a hoax. Every bit of it, none of it, very little of it was real. And certainly the the allegations of blatant racism and all this were totally made up and manufactured. And I, I have been suspicious, excuse me, I've been suspicious of this, this stuff because I, you know, I know liberals, I understand who these people are. Uh, but the reporting on this made it sound like it was legit and so forth. But I have I've learned my list is the last time, folks, the last time I'm going to buy into into garbage like this without I, mean, I didn't buy into this. It's just I didn't voice my my real true sentiments about this.